After watching all these routes, strategies, different versions, how to counter uh, these different maneuvers, grabbing the power weapons, I hope what I've explained counters or teaches you how to counter those guys who just sit there and grind for hero rank. Because if there is no explanation how to counter, you're just gonna get a completely demolished in BTB. BTB should be a place of fun, but those hero grinders, they do not make it fun. They just go for kills. So I hope what I told you when I showed you here helped a little bit. I definitely know it helped more than those other hero videos where they don't teach you anything. At least in this video, you're gonna learn some extra tricks you didn't know about, I guarantee that. And you're gonna counter all their bullshit they're gonna do when they try to go for 60 kill games and not do the objective. So you're gonna know what to do, you're gonna know how to counter, you're gonna know where to go and what to do now. Okay, Breaker. Breaker has a lot of shock rifle in power. This map is mostly built for shock rifling. Ghosting and shock rifling. I've, I've done a lot of ghosting and I've done a lot of a camo in. Camo, shock rifle, ghost. DMR, not so much, but you can also use the hammer. So what are you going to do on this map? It depends Sling. on which side you spawn. So let's get into it. Middle push. When you spawn in the middle on this side and there's a Warhawk in front of you, get in the Warhawk straight away. Go right. You're gonna grab the camo. You can make sure you run over that guy because that's supported too. You're gonna grab this camo. And when you grab this camo, you can go right and push towards the spawn, but it's too soon in the game. You do that later in the game. Uh, rocket spawn there with Cinder Shot, so you can grab that. You can grab a grapple hook. And you can go up here. Grab the sword, whatever, and then boom, that's the middle push. So camo is really important on this map. Shock rifle. I've you can get 50 kills by getting the shock rifle. The shock rifle spawns in two places. It respawns every one minute and 30 seconds. Make sure you stand right on it. So the first one is right here. This is where the first one is. You grab it, it spawns in one minute and 30 seconds. Usually people camp up there where I'm looking right here. So they go up here, they grab this little deployable cover and they just stay in right here in this location and they just snipe, snipe, snipe. So you can counter this by using a camo and just kill the guy. So this is where the, that's the first shock rifle spawn. The second shock rifle spawn spawns actually here. And not a lot of people know this. Actually, I've never seen anybody go to this place because they don't even know where it spawns. So this is where the sh second shock rifle spawn is right here so if the first one isn't there the second one's gonna be here and that's the shock rifle area you go up and you just stay back and you get your little easy cheap kills on people from the back how to counter the snipers this includes shock rifles too after playing so many games you're gonna realize you're not gonna kill those guys because they're so campy with snipers there's only one way you're gonna grab a camo and you're gonna walk all the way to their base and you're gonna assassinate those little camp ass bitches. Right here, you're gonna activate the camel around this corner and then you're gonna just ignore everybody. There is nobody on this map except that sniper. That sniper is gonna die. You're gonna do this route, you're gonna jump on these right here, you're gonna get inside that base and you're gonna assassinate, steal that sniper, you're gonna assassinate that little shock rifle guy and teabag him. You're gonna teabag him so hard, he's not gonna want to use the shock rifle anymore also apparently the camo makes noise so if you get close to the guy he might hear you because he might have headphones so make sure you stick it from a distance that also happened to me before ghost on this map one side of the map is good for ghosting the other side is bad the side we are on right now this is the best side for enemy ghosting if you spawn on this side, do not get the ghost. Because the other side is just so bad, it's so small, you're not gonna get any kills. So what I realized, if you go to the other side, you're not gonna get any kills. It's just, you're gonna get hijacked, sniped. So in my advice, do not go for the ghost on this side. It's just, it's just you're gonna get killed. It's a, it's a really bad side. 
but on the opposite side I'm going to show you later it's really good the opposite side is really good for ghosting left side push if you spawn on the side I'm about to spawn on you're gonna get the hammer and the sword and you're gonna get it fast so you're gonna you can get the sniper too but this is the fast push so you're gonna quickly get to the side grab the grapple you want to get inside grab the hammer shotgun good too and wait for the hammer or wait for the sword you're gonna hold this position right here and camp behind these corners this is a really good place you just stay here and you hold this position the whoever gets this position first wins now the way to counter this is actually you get a camo and, and you and you just walk over here that's it and kill the guy camping here with the camo dirty spot one when you push to the other side, so I'm about here, I have the grapple, this is what you do, you grapple on top of this ledge, and you stay on this side of the ledge. They won't expect you on this side of the ledge, they won't expect you on their spawn, so you can literally just stay on this spot and stay there. Spawn camp. This is usually good if you have camo, rockets, shotgun, right here where I'm shooting. This is where you gotta stand because they start spawning around the radius where you're staying at. So if you stay at the back, they will spawn on your left, they'll spawn in front of you, and you can just run around these little corners, especially if you have a gravity hammer. This is where I go with the gravity hammer, and I just stay around this area, and that's it. This spot is really good, I have to say, because they won't expect a gravity hammer guy, and you can just run around that area and then get to steal their camo and then keep doing it. Slayer. Other spawn, hard right side push. Okay, so when you spawn on the other side, with the ravine behind you or the, you know, whatever behind you is, it's not a solid back. So if you spawn on this side, what you're going to have to do to get a good right side push is you're going to get the camo. Now the camo, there is the, this is the fastest way of getting the camo. You jump up here. Instead of jumping forward, you jump on this ledge first, and then you jump here. That's the fastest route for the camo, trust me. Do those two jumps, that's the fastest push. Get the shotgun. You can wait here if you want, or you can push up further. This is why it's called the right hard push. You can get the rockets there if you want. But we're going inside their base. This is the hard push. So we're going to do, we're going to we're going to make a good spawn trap on their base. We're going to kill anybody next to us. We're going to climb up here. And we're gonna hold this position up here and they're not gonna expect it okay so we're right here right on this little ledge this is the golden spot right here this is the golden spot you can get 15 kills by just peeking left and right shooting anybody who shoots you and making sure you're always up here run around this is the spot so right here make a note because this is where campers camp to get 20 kills they just stay up here and anybody who pushes them like this they just kill them shock rifle again you have to know where the shock rifle spawns so on this side we are currently dealing with there are two shock rifle spawns right here where i'm pointing this is the first shock rifle spawn the second shock rifle spawn spawns a little bit lower next to the ghost right here and it spawns every one minute 30 seconds you pick it up you go to the top position and again counter the opposite side i've seen people ju they just camp here they don't really go to the left you could go up here to the left and camp up there but it's it, you always get sniped because it's really easy to get killed there so people just stay around this area they drop down they get more shock rifle ammo every one minute 30 seconds they have 50 bullets and they just stay back on this side they just stay back they go up here they, they deploy the deployable wall and then they just get a bunch of kills just deploy the wall and then they just hold this position and they get 10 10 kills 20 kills 60 kills i've seen somebody get 70 kills or more up here but ghost the good side as i say instead said before this side is the best side for the ghost so if you spawn on this side you're gonna this is the side where you get the ghost healing right there make sure you pick that up you're gonna heal your ghost a lot this game the, this side is the bad side but if you spawn on this side it's the good side because this right here where we're pushing it's the open area you can get a lot of kills because there's a lot of open area they spawn in open 
can kill them. They're in the open. There's nothing they can do. You can get 25 kills by just driving around, killing them. They spawn in these locations. That side and this side. Just drive around in circles and you can get a bunch of kills. The second healing spawns here. So you can just kill your ghost and drive around in circles. There's no real way to stop the ghost. What I do sometimes is I also get their ghost and I destroy my ghost so my ghost spawns in and I'm just using their ghost and that's it just destroy your ghost and that's it there's no real way to stop you I've realized unless they snipe you like that like this AI he's trying to snipe you there's no real way there's the sh there's the electro grenades which can stop you and the sniper here are some routes I do this is my like favorite route once I, I go up here I shoot him a little bit I drive around here again the electric grenade spawn here. This is the only way to stop these ghosts. If somebody's spawn trapping you, this is what you do. You grab those electric grenades, you throw them, and you kill the ghost. Because the ghost campers at your spawn at, on this map can really ruin your KD. So you gotta stop these, stop these ghost campers. Use those electric grenades. You gotta use those electric grenades, okay? And that's it. That's how you're gonna stop those little ghost campers. Right side push one more time. I already shown this, but I'm gonna show it one more time. If you spawn on this side, there's also this route you can do. If you spawn a little bit behind, you jump up here, you grab the camo, and you go for there. You go for their snipers. You could grab the rockets. I actually haven't shown getting the rockets, but the rockets are good too. The rockets spawn over there. So what you do, you put on the camo, and you just get that. You kill their shock rifle guy. Ignore everybody else. You get to their base, and you punch the guy in the back. Make sure you do it fast. And there we go, teabag the shock rifle guy, and you are good. There's also a little spot right below here you can camp. I think I've shown everything on this map right here. You can camp here a little bit, and that's it. And I think that's it. I think I've shown everything. Left side push, sniper. I haven't shown this, but I'm going to show it. So, if you're spawning on the side where you got the whole wall behind you, what you want to do is you want to get that sniper. Slayer. Because the sniper isn't that good, because the shock rifle is so much stronger. But you still need to do the left push to get the sniper. So, I'm about to spawn on this side. And I'm just going to go left, grab the sniper. It spawns every two minutes. Maybe spawns a little bit more, but I think it's two minutes. And you just hold the left position because if anybody does the counter push, you'll see him with the sniper. So you have one guy with the sniper and one guy with the shock rifle and you're just holding the positions and that's it. I would stay here if you're going to defend. But again, this is the light push, so you just want to defend your base so you don't get attacked. And that's it.